What's up guys, welcome to your 23rd tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be building a simple program. So now that we learned what the for loop was, I'm going to be building a program to calculate something called compound interest. And this is pretty much like interest if you put your money in like a savings account or something. you It will allow you uh, to see how much money you have in the future. What I'm going to be using it for is to see how many subscribers that I'm going to have in the future. So right now, if you're watching this tutorial, and I'm making this when I have about 10,000 subscribers. And I figured out that I gain 1% of my subscribers each day. So with that information, I'm going to be able to calculate how much um, subscribers or how many I'm going to have in the future. So the formula for compound interest is this. A, which stands for the amount, and this is going to be what we're solving for, the future amount, equals P, which is the principal, which is 10,000, times 1 plus R. And again, uh, R equals the rate, and all of this is to the power of, where are you, the power of N, and N is the number of years. So we want to solve for A, and what we need to do is find P, which is the principal, 10,000 times 1 plus 1% 1 to the power of N, and this is the number of years. So if this sounds really complicated, let me show you guys how to do this using a for loop, and you will be um, uh, substantially impressed, I promise you. So we need three variables, uh, double amount, and we don't know what this is yet, so we're just going to leave it set to nothing, double principal, and um, again, we're using um, uh, double because we want to use, uh, what's it called, uh, decimal points. We can't use int because these aren't whole numbers. We need to use decimal points. So um, double principal, we know what this is, 10,000, since that's how many subscribers I have to begin with. And don't put the comma there, 10,000. So we have the amount, the principal, and I told you guys the last thing they need is the rate. So double rate equals 0.01, since I'm gaining subscribers at 1% a day. So now that we have the amount, which we're solving for, we have the principal, the value that I'm starting with, and the rate, 1% a day, we can go ahead and make a for loop to build this program. So go ahead, and all this for loop is going to do is say, how long do you want to run it for? Well, let's go ahead, int day, uh, we want to start with the first day, and we want to go to day 20. We can go to whatever we want, just put uh, less than or equal to 20, and put day plus plus. And all this says is start on day 1, give me all the information from day 1 to day 20. That's all this does. Now, let's get the good stuff. We want to solve for amount. So that's what we're going to be setting equal to since we don't know what it is yet. But we do know what the formula is for it. It's principal. And make sure you type these right. Principal. And again, you need to times this by um, something to the power. And this calls for an outside method. That's math.pow. Now, again, you can see right here that it takes two arguments. The first argument's what's in the parentheses. And the second argument's the exponent. So again, let's go ahead and add those arguments right here. The first thing, what's in the parentheses, is 1 plus rate. And what do you want to give the exponent? Year. Or let's see what it was, day actually. So now we have 1 plus rate, which is um, amount equals principal, which is 10,000 times 1 plus plus 0.01 to the day, and that day is going to loop. So now all we have to do is print this out on the screen. System out print line, and let's go ahead and print a year, actually day. Again, whenever you use like uh, compound interest and stuff, you usually use year, but uh, no one really uses day unless you're looking at YouTube subscribers, so that's why I keep typing year plus and add a couple spaces amount there you go so let's go ahead and run this and I'll show you guys what it does so now we have a list 
down here that says how many subscribers I'm going to have each day. So on the end of the first day, or after one day, I'm going to have um, 10,100 subscribers. That sounds about right. That's 1%. And as you can see, at the end of 10 days from now, I'm going to have 1,146 subscribers. And a couple um, half, half subscribers here. And at the end of 20 days, I'm going to have over 12,000 subscribers. So that is how you can build a program um, to calculate something like investments or um, your mortgage payments or something like that. Again, let me show you guys how this works one last time, as I always do. We needed three principles. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> principles. We needed three variables because that's how many variables are in this formula. You need to figure out the amount, which we don't know yet, but we do know the principle, which is the starting point, and the rate. We want to set the amount, which you don't know yet. It equals the principal times 1 plus the rate, which is 0.01, times the day. And this is where the for loop comes in handy because this goes 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 20. And next, we just output it on the screen. So again, um, if you're watching this tutorial, then Google um, what the formula for compound interest is in you'll be able to follow along easier. It's kind of hard seeing in this unless you're looking at the formula. But that's pretty much how you calculate compound interest. So um, thank you guys for watching my tutorial. Play around with this, and I promise after you do it one time, you'll be an expert at it. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed building a simple application. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next tutorial.